In this video, we're going to explore how we can use more of the NUnit framework to dry up our testing code. And by dry, I mean the acronym of DRY, which stands for Do Not Repeat Yourself. Since our last video, I've added a few things to our code base. To our user authentication view model, I've added a new property called password. I've also created a property for our authenticate command, which actually needs to be a get and a set property. Otherwise, our Xamarin forms bindings will not work. Our authenticate command will actually be an instance of this authenticate command class that implements the I command class interface. Additionally, I created a new project for our services. Services is a generic phrase for any type of class or code that does a lot of things like interacting with the REST service or the file system, or does maybe a lot of business logic that is reused across multiple view models. In this particular instance, I've created a user service that will be responsible for authenticating our user. And the idea is if the authentication is successful, we'll return a valid GUID, otherwise we'll return an empty GUID. So let's go ahead and start wiring this stuff up. One of the first things I will need to do is instantiate our authenticate command. So I'm gonna say authenticate command equals new authenticate command. And I'm gonna trim out this namespace. And so we'll see that our IntelliSense is telling us that authenticate command does not take zero arguments. So we need to pass I user service to our view model and in turn pass that to our command as well as the reference to this view model. And now when we compile our view models project is nice and happy. However, if we go into our testing project, we'll now see we have all sorts of red squiggly lines everywhere. And that's because our user authentication view model is now expecting a reference to I user service. Okay, so how can we go about fixing this problem? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a library called fake it easy via NuGet to my test project. And what this will allow us to do is easily mock or fake our I user service. reference our iUser service. And then I'm gonna copy and paste this here. And now when I compile, our project should be nice and happy. And then when I run our tests, we should have no problems whatsoever. Copy and pasting solve this particular problem, but if we were to have, let's say 20 tests in this particular test suite, it's probably not a good thing in terms of maintenance and brittleness to just constantly copy and paste this particular line of code. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a setup method that each test will use. And we're going to use this setup attribute that is provided by nUnit. And I'm going to call this init VM under test. And again, I use the ut suffix to designate as something being under test. And then I'm gonna move this line up here I'm gonna convert my variable into a field, and then I'm gonna rename it, like so. Oops. And now, for each of my tests, I can get rid of this particular variable, and I can now use the class property. And this class property will get instantiated, or I should say, this class field will get instantiated each time this test suite runs a test. So now if I run our tests, everything is good to go. So this is how we can use setup to dry up our code and keep from cluttering up our test suite with a bunch of initialization code. In the next video, I'll dive deeper into fake it easy and how we can use it to actually make sure our view model is doing the appropriate things with our services.